Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss about superior trichoid. In the last classes, we did cycloids. In trichoids, inferior trichoids, we did. In this class, we will do the superior trichoid. What are the main differences between these three? Here in cycloids, we are taking the P point on the circumference of the circuit. In the example, I am taking P point okay, on the circumference of the circuit in this cycloid. In trichoids, we are taking P point either inside the circle or outside the circuit. If P point is inside the circle, you will get the curve like this. It is called inferior trichoid. So the example we can take like this. Okay, this is the circumference of the circuit. P point, this is the P point. P point is inside the circle. Okay, like this. If the P point is outside the circle, you will get the curve. It is called superior trichoid. In this class, we will discuss superior trichoid. So P point is outside the circle. Here for explaining superior trichoid, as I told, P point is outside the circle. Here, I took practically, this is a circle, this is a P point. This P point is outside the circle. Okay. It has some gap between center and this P point. Okay, this gap. Now, let us take the given data first. After that, we will do the superior record by using this practically. After that, by using the drawing instruments, we will do in the sheet. Here, take the given data. A circle of diameter 50 mm. So, I took here roughly one circle. The diameter is from this point to this point. 5 centimeter or 50 mm so practically we are taking this is a circle this diameter is 5 centimeter rolls along a straight line so this circle is rolling along this straight line okay it is moving on the horizontal path for one revolution one revolution means let us take this is the initial point this circle is rolling on this horizontal path for one revolution means it is 2 pi r distance what is this 2 pi r this is the circumference of this circle draw the locus of a point lying at a distance of 36 mm from the center of the circle so from the center of the circle we are taking one point okay let us take here one p point we can give any alphabet for that point name so how much distance from center to this p point it is 36 mm that is 3.6 centimeters so this cp distance is 3.6 centimeters practically also we are taking this p point under this center distance is 3.6 centimeters okay now let us do this locus of this p point when the circle is rolling along this straight path the circle is rolling in the clockwise direction on the horizontal surface let us do practically by using this arrangement after that we will do this diagram by using the drawing instruments doing the diagram as i told for one revolution means it is moving 2 pi r distance so calculate this value 2 into pi into r means radius of this circle how much radius half in it 25 mm so take in centimeters so that we can do centimeter line here okay in the sheet so 2.5 centimeter do with calci using calci we got this value 15.7 centimeter let us do the curve practically here i took the horizontal surface starting point is a okay now keep this circle here just do the circle also like this okay circle position initially now after that mark the p point also okay now this p point is here okay roughly i am marking initial point now this circle is rolling like this on this horizontal surface circle is coming here okay from this point to this point now mark the p point okay here i am marking now this circle is rolling on the horizontal surface like this okay now mark the p position here so i am marking here okay at the side of this p point you can mark here also here also it is our wherever initially we are marking at the side of the point mark this p point now the circle is rolling on the horizontal surface like this. Now mark the P position. Now after that circle is rolling like this. Okay, mark the P position. Now circle is rolling here. Now mark the P position. Now circle is rolling like this. Mark the P position. Now circle is rolling like this. Okay mark the p position okay initially this position is same as here okay initial position p point is here now p point came here okay the meaning is circle is rolling on the horizontal surface for one revolution okay so it is moving two pair distance already i told now here no need to calculate just we are doing roughly here okay so this is the last p point position now, after getting all these p positions mark the p point this is a p point initially this is p1 this is p2 this is P3, P4, P5, 
this is P6, P7. Okay. We are marking all P points. Join all P points by using freehand curve. Starting point is P, end point is P7. Let us do here. We try to do freehand curve here. After that P2 to P3. And then P3 to P4. P4 to P5. And then P6 to P7. Now this curve is the path of P point. Okay. Let us do this diagram by using the given data and drawing instruments. Here just for getting the practically, I am here showing this example. Let us do this diagram by using the drawing instruments and by using this data. Initially we have to do this circle. How much diameter of that circle? Already I told it is 50 mm. Radius is half in it, 25 mm, 2.5 cm. Take any one of the point of center. Do this circle. Take radius 2.5 cm. By using the compass, take 2.5 cm radius. Take C is the center. 2.5 is the radius. Do one circle. After doing the circle, just do one vertical diameter like this or vertical line. On it, mark P point. CP distance has given in the question 3.6 cm. Mark P point from center. So from center take 3.6 centimeters, mark P point. Just do one line. This is a P point. After getting P, mark A point. A is the intersection point of this vertical line and this circle. Okay. Now this point is I am taking A point. After getting A point, do the horizontal path for one revolution. Already we have calculated by using Calci. So 2 pi R means 2 into pi into R means radius. 25 mm 2.5 centimeter we'll get we will get 15.7 centimeter mark a b length is 15.7 centimeter so this horizontal line should be perpendicular to this line perpendicular means 90 degrees just for getting this is 90 degrees so one of the scale is coincide with this to the line like this okay from a to b mark 15.7 centimeters Fifteen point seven means mark the end point. Okay, join A to this point. Do the name of this point. This is AB. This path is AB path. Okay, on which circle is rolling. After getting this line, at the end also just do one vertical line. Okay, like this. For getting vertical line, do this line. Use the set square. This is ninety degrees. Okay, just do one line. Extend this line below also. Okay, here. As I told, circle is rolling okay, on this surface. Okay. When the circle is rolling here like this, okay, centers are also moving from center, this center to this center. Again, it is moving here one center. Okay. All centers are coming on the same line okay, because it is moving on the horizontal surface. Okay. So mark the center line here up to this last line. For getting the parallel line here, I am using the roll scale. Just do the center line here. Okay, on it centers are moving. As I told, circle is rolling from C2, some other new center C1, then C2, then C3 like that. Okay, here all centers are coming. Let us divide, uh, it is moving up to 12 centers. C, C1, C2, C3, C4 like that. Now divide this center line into 12 equal divisions. We can divide into any number of parts. Here I am dividing this into 12 parts. For dividing centers, so this line length is also same as this. Okay, so divide this line initially into 12 parts. For dividing any line into 12 parts, in engineering drawing we have one process. At this initial point do one inclined line. Okay, any angle. Like this. Okay, up to some length too. This angle should be less than 30 degrees. Okay, remember it. And now after getting this inclined line, by using compass, take any radius. We can take any radius, no need to measure. Here A as center, divide this line into first part. Okay, now take this is a new center, same radius, second part. Now this is the center, new center, same radius, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, 
नाइन्थ टेंथ इलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ वी टेक द लास्ट इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट ओके जॉइन दिस पॉइंट टू बी पॉइंट ओके विल गेट वन इंक्लाइंड लाइन लाइक दिस नाउ हियर वी गॉट वन इंक्लाइंड लाइन बट ऑल दिस इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट्स आल्सो डू द लाइन पैरल टू दिस लाइन ओके फॉर गेटिंग पैरल लाइन आई एम यूजिंग रोल स्केल ओके बाय यूजिंग ड्राफ्टर स्केल फिक्स द ड्राफ्टर स्केल हियर एंड मूव द स्केल अप टू दिस पॉइंट एंड टेक वन इंक्लाइंड लाइन अप टू दिस लाइन मूव द स्केल हियर आल्सो डू द लाइन लाइक दैट एट ऑल द पॉइंट्स डू द इंक्लाइंड लाइन Now mark the names for these points. Here I am marking one dash. This point is two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash, seven dash, eight dash, nine dash, ten dash, eleven dash. At at this B point, twelve dash. B comma twelve dash. Okay. So after getting all twelve equal divisions. Extend this one dash up to C for getting C one. Our main aim is we are marking C one, C two, C three like that. Okay. Take this is the reference line. Move the scale up to one dash. Now here mark C one. Similarly at all the points, do the parallel lines. For getting the parallel lines, take this is the reference line. Move the scale. After getting all intersection points, initially we have marked C one. This intersection point is C two. we have divided here 12 centers okay after that take cp as the radius by using compass c as center cp cp is the radius do one circle c as center cp radius do one circle here why do we did circle miss so here with this circle this point is also moving like this okay from c to c1 c1 to c2 like that okay all centers so this point is also moving that's why we did one circle here now here it is taking 12 centers so divide this circle also 12 divisions 12 equal divisions for dividing circle into 12 divisions as we know for any circle at the center what is the angle 360 degrees okay Divide this into twelve parts. Each part is thirty degrees. Okay, so divide this bigger circle into twelve divisions. For dividing the circle into twelve parts, take the angles. Each is thirty degrees. Okay, initially start from zero, zero to thirty. First part thirty to next thirty, sixty. Sixty plus thirty means ninety. Okay, ninety plus thirty means one twenty. One twenty plus thirty means one fifty. 150 plus 30 means 180. Okay. Now after getting these points, join these points to the center and extend within this circle. Okay. Now initial point here. Okay. To the center. Do the line. And already we did the line here. Take the next point. Join to center. Extend within this bigger circle. Next this point. Next. this point now after this this point after this this point like this now here we have divided into 12 divisions so mark the intersection points this is the p point now take this line and uh, this circle one and next intersection point two and uh, this part and uh, this circle Okay, take this is three, and this is four. Fifth part, sixth, seven, eight. This is nine, ten, eleven. This is a p p comma twelve. 
okay after 11 12 so here we have divided this circle into 12 equal divisions center line also we have divided into 12 divisions if you are dividing this into eight parts here also divide into eight parts you can divide into any number of parts it is our wish after getting all the points at all the points do the horizontal lines similar to the center horizontal line okay so here take this is a reference line so from one so this is one here from one do the line horizontal line up to this end line so one and eleven are coming on the same line okay because circle is symmetrical okay up to this last line and from this p comma 12 also do the horizontal line and next after one next two two and ten are coming on the same line now after two nine three nine three already we did on the center line it is a horizontal line next after three four four and eight are coming on the same line and next five five seven both are coming on the same line six so we did the lines from all the points now circle is rolling from c to c1 okay so circle is rolling from c to c1 like this so this distance is also moving now c1 to c2 like this so this distance from p point to center is also moving but it is constant cp distance okay take cp length constant it is for all centers okay cp distance now c is coming to c1 next now this cp distance constant distance mark on the first line which is passing through one okay here do one arc okay, after that take next center is c2 do an arc on the second line which is passing through two here okay after c2 take c3 center do an arc on the third line which is passing through three here and then from c3 to c4 do an arc on the fourth which is passing through four now next c5 okay, do an arc on the fifth one which is passing through five next center is c6 now do an arc on the sixth one which is passing through six okay now after c6 c7 do an arc on the seventh one which is passing through seven now after c7 c8 do an arc on the eighth one which is passing through eight now next c9 do an arc on the ninth one which is passing through same center okay. now after c9 c10 c10 center do an arc on the tenth one which is passing through 10 okay here we have to extend the line like this okay for marking the c10 so this is the tenth one just extend the line here for getting this intersection point let us do here also at 11th one so after c9 c10 center i did the arc on the 10th one okay here i have extended the line now after c10 c11 center do an arc on the 11th one which is passing through 11 here so here also i have extended the line the intersection point is coming out of this line so intersection point is coming here that's why i have extended the line now next last center c12 center do an arc on the 12th one so this one it is coming here exactly here we got all intersection points mark the names for it here i am marking p1 okay on the first line it is moving it's p1 now do with pencil okay here for getting the clear points i am doing with pen so after p1 p2 now next this is p3 next on the fourth line on the fourth line next point is p4 now next on the fifth line it is p5 on the sixth one it is p6 now next on the seventh line p7 next on the eighth line p8 so on the ninth line it is p9 now next on the tenth one it is p10 
now on the 11th one p11 last 12th one p12 after getting all p points join all p points we will get the superior trichoid so starting point is p p2 p1 do with free hand curve join p2 p1 p1 to p2 p2 to p3 now p3 to p4 join p4 to p5 join p5 to p6 p6 to p7 p7 to p8 and then p8 to p9 p9 to p10 here it is outside this line okay p9 to p10 p10 to p11 p11 to p12 so this is the required curve this curve name is called superior record here mark the given dimension diameter of this circle has given how much it is 50 mm take any one of the diameter keep arrows at both sides mark diameter symbol 50 and then this cp distance is 36 mm so take any one of the radius okay, it is cp radius mark r here 36 keep arrow here after that this path length ab length how much it is it is circumference of the circle so it is 157 mm by using calci we did this one okay here the given circle and the given path and the required curve should be in dark color compared to other lines and uh, other circle okay this is a method of doing the superior record the other video lectures of records and cyclides i will give the link in description box please check it here you do the entire diagram by using the pencils only for getting the clear view i am using different colors you please use pencils in the drawing sheet as well as in the exam sheets also if you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel for getting more videos thank you for watching